Letter fourteen of Letters from Egypt by Lady Lucy Duff Gordon, read for LibriVox.org into the public domain. To Sir Alexander Duff Gordon, Alexandria, May twelfth, eighteen sixty three. Dearest Alec, I only got your letter an hour ago, and the mail goes out at four. I enclose to you the letter I had written to my mother, so I need not repeat about my plans. Continue to write here. A letter comes as soon and safer. My general health is so much stronger and better, especially before I had this last severe attack, that I still hope, though it is a severe trial of patience, not to throw it up and come home for good. It would be delightful to have you at Cairo now I have pots and pans and all needful for a house, but a carpet and a few mattresses, if you could camp with me a l'Arab. How you would revel in old Masr el Kahira, peep up at lattice windows, gape like a gashim, green one, in the bazaar, go wild over the mosques, laugh at portly Turks and dignified sheikhs on their white donkeys, drink sherbet in the streets, ride wildly about on a donkey, peer under black veils at beautiful eyes, and feel generally intoxicated. I am quite a good cicerone now of the glorious old city. Omar is in raptures at the idea that the Sidi el Kebir, the great master, might come, and still more if he brought the little master. He plans meeting you on the steamboat and bringing you to me, that I may kiss your hand first of all. Mashallah, how our hearts would be dilated. End of letter 14. Read by Sibella Denton. All LibriVox files are in the public domain. For more information, please visit LibriVox.org.